Hello everyone. Welcome to our new session on Microsoft Defender for Identity. In this session, we will discuss the four pillars of Microsoft 365 Defender, understand Defender for Identity in detail, its architecture, Defender for Identity components, and will cover some important questions for Identity Defender. Let's get started. Microsoft Defender for Identity, formerly called Azure Advanced Threat Protection, and also known as Azure ADP, is a cloud-based security solution that leverages your on-premises Active Directory signals to identify, detect, and investigate advanced threats, compromised identities, and malicious insider actions directed at your organization. Defender for Identity enables SEC Ops analysts and security professionals struggling to detect advanced attacks in hybrid environments to Monitor users, entity behavior, and activities with learning-based analytics. Protect user identities and credentials stored in Active Directory. Identify and investigate suspicious user activities and advanced attacks throughout the kill chain, and provide clear incident information on a simple timeline for fast triage. The Defender for Identity is a centralized body, monitoring user identities across different endpoints, phones, laptops, etc. and ensures user identities are analyzed and protected in case of ant malicious action is observed. It is also very useful to guard against insider threat and insider attacks. Let's understand the Defender for Identity architecture. It monitors your domain controllers by capturing and parsing network traffic and leveraging Windows events directly from your domain controllers, then analyzes the data for attacks and threats. Utilizing profiling, deterministic detection, machine learning, and behavioral algorithms, Defender for Identity learns about your network, enables detection of anomalies, and warns you of suspicious activities. Installed directly on your domain controller or ADFS servers, the Defender for Identity sensor accesses the event logs it requires directly from the servers. After the logs and network traffic are parsed by the sensor, Defender for Identity sends only the parsed information to the Defender for Identity cloud service, only a percentage of the logs are sent. The different components of Defender for Identity are Defender for Identity Portal The Defender for Identity Portal allows the creation of your Defender for Identity instance, displays the data received from Defender for Identity sensors, and enables you to monitor, manage, and investigate threats in your network environment. Next component is Defender for Identity Sensor. Defender for Identity Sensors can be directly installed on the following servers, first is the Domain Controllers. The sensor directly monitors domain controller traffic, without the need for a dedicated server, or configuration of port mirroring. And secondly, ADFS Server. The sensor directly monitors network traffic and authentication events. The third component is Defender for Identity Cloud Service. Defender for Identity Cloud Service runs on Azure infrastructure and is currently deployed in the US, Europe, and Asia. Defender for Identity Cloud Service is connected to Microsoft's Intelligent Security Graph. Let's discuss some important questions and capabilities. In terms of how many directory service credentials does Defender for Identity support? Defender for Identity currently supports adding up to 10 different directory service credentials, to support Active Directory environments with untrusted forests. Next, what data does Defender for Identity collect? Defender for Identity collects and stores information from your configured servers in a database specific to the service for administration, tracking, and reporting purposes. Information collected includes network traffic to and from domain controllers, such as Kerberos authentication, NTLM authentication, DNS queries, security logs, such as Windows security events, Active Directory information, structure, subnets, sites, and entity information, such as names, email addresses, and phone numbers. Well, Microsoft uses this data to proactively identify indicators of attack, generate alerts if a possible attack was detected, provide your security operations with a view into entities related to threat signals from your network, enabling you to investigate and explore the presence of security threats on the network. Next, what can Defender for Identity detect? Defender for Identity detects known malicious attacks and techniques, security issues, and risks against your network. Next, does Defender for Identity only leverage traffic from Active Directory? 
In addition to analyzing Active Directory traffic using Deep Packet Inspection technology, Defender for Identity also collects relevant Windows events from your domain controller, and creates entity profiles based on information from Active Directory domain services. Defender for Identity also supports receiving radius accounting of VPN logs from various vendors, Microsoft, Cisco, F5, and Checkpoint. Next, does Defender for Identity monitor only domain-joined devices? No. Defender for Identity monitors all devices in the network performing authentication and authorization requests against Active Directory, including non-Windows and mobile devices. Next, does Defender for Identity monitor computer accounts as well as user accounts? Yes. Since computer accounts, as well as any other entities, can be used to perform malicious activities, Defender for Identity monitors all computer accounts behavior and all other entities in the environment. I hope the video was useful. Please subscribe to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. If you need copy of this presentation, please email us.